Did you hear about the massive crime wave sweeping through North Wales? Now, you may remember last month we told you about the theft of bees on Anglesey. Well, this time it's apples and plums in the Connery Valley. Fruit burglars have hit around a dozen gardens and orchards in five villages. <laughs> Only in Wales! <laughs> Hello? 999? Yeah. Some bastards have my apples. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, there's more here. They've only gone and stolen the leaves. <laughs> what? Is it? Autumn. Oh. <laughs> I, I love... I love how seriously they take this story. I mean, look at the language this reporter uses. So who's to blame? Well, all sorts of stories are doing the round. It must be someone local, one person told me, to know where all those apple trees are. Oh, no, said another. They've come in from away. But whoever it is, something sinister is afoot here. Sinister? <laughs> the Nick Granny Smiths, they haven't summoned the devil. <laughs> so, Welsh ghost stories must be pretty tame. <laughs> and the children went into the orchard and all the apples were gone. No! Instead, they had to cook a rhubarb crumble. Ah! <laughs> Stop it, Mum! I'm gonna shit my pants! Yeah! <laughs> Tomorrow I'll tell you the one about the pear that was left in a school bag and went squidgy. <laughs> I love this story so much. They even got the police involved. It's a mystery why they're going after one fruit and not the other. We don't know at this point what's uh, going through the, um, through the mind of the person who's actually stealing these fruits. I'll tell you what's going through their minds. I fancy an apple! <laughs> Just when you think it can't get any better, look who a local farmer blamed. The grass doesn't appear to have been disturbed in any way. <laughs> Maybe aliens have landed on a in the apples. <laughs> it was aliens! Shall we harvest the Earth's minerals? No! <laughs> Let's go scramping! <laughs>